wrap up the F2 title for Rahul Bar. Come on! Hello everybody and welcome to F124 My Driver Career Mode and we are in F1. We won the F2 title with Rahul Bar in the last episode and now we're diving in to F1. And do you know what we're going to do? Normally I take out places like Monaco and Hungary and Singapore. We're going for a full 24 race season. In my opinion it's too many races in the season. We're going for that and we get to select our team. Wow. Okay, we don't. I thought we may get like contract offers coming up from F uh, from F two, but because I get to pick, I'm going to go with the team that I was hoping would give me a contract, which is going to be Williams. So we're going to be the second driver at Williams. They are part of the Mercedes um, Academy program, not McLaren, but McLaren also have a Mercedes engines and I don't want to go straight into McLaren. So I think we are going to go into Williams, but let's have a quick look. So is there, is there any team where we would be the lead driver? No, which is good. I quite like that. Uh, Haas is 45.55. Rahul Bar and Yuki Tsunoda would be 48.52. Alpine would be Esteban Ocon still leading. Uh, Valtteri Bottas would have the lead there. Alexander Albon, and then, yeah, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Hamilton, Charles Leclerc, and Max Verstappen. So, I think we go with what my original choice was going to be, and that is Williams. I mean, who would I like my teammate to be? It's 100% going to be Alex Albon, because, I mean, we're better than Logan Sargent. So, we're going to choose Alexander Albon as our teammate, and we are in F1, and that is awesome. Oh, hello. New little cutscene. I'm going to assume this is Monaco, and that's the harbour. That's the bay. Oh, there he is. There's Rahul Bar, chilling out in Monaco, Finally. looking over his balcony. Let's do this for real. Ooh. Sorry it took so long. You know what these legal types are like? Yes, sir. No, sir. Here's 80 pages of needless jargon, sir. Anyway, believe it or not, this is my excited face. Come on. Come on. Let me show you what we've got. Wow, this so, is all new. All the usual stuff, merchandising, likeness, blah, blah, blah. But the really juicy stuff is their expectation of you. They need you to challenge yourself all season, be the best you can be, dominate your teammate, become a legend. All that jazz. Now, it's over to you. Wow, this is really cool. This is awesome. This is really good. Part of me hopes it changes when okay, you move team. Here we are. It's contract time. The team are expecting you to improve as your career evolves. And so am I. Here, we will be setting you a contractual target with the team, so that this progress can be tracked by both parties. Here, you can view your current ratings with your overall rating, or RTG, shown at the top. This is the value that will be used to set your contract target. In order to improve this, You'll need to show your worth at each race weekend. Your current rating has been used as a starting point. Move this slider to set your target for next season. Uh, okay. A higher target requires consistently good results at each race weekend. But you'll get more recognition when you sign. Here you can view your recognition with the team. The higher the target you set yourself, the more recognition you will earn when you sign. More recognition equals more car development. More car development makes car go fast. You know the drill. Remember, if you fail to meet that target, you will lose this recognition bonus. So don't bite off more than you can chew. You can see some basic information on the contract, as well as the number of seasons your contract will last. After this season concludes, you may be offered longer contracts, if the team thinks you deserve one. A longer contract will give another recognition bonus when you sign. There's a few other points for us to go over, but we can leave those until you're settled. I'll leave you to finalize your terms. Wow, okay, so you can actually... Oh, this is all new to me. This is all new. So, ah. So if we say we're going to hit an 84 rating at the end of the season, which I don't think we will, we would get a 7% bonus. I mean, we're going to up the difficulty, so I'm not too sure what to do. I'm not expecting us to challenge. They recommend that it's 79. 
So maybe we just do that. Or do we go one above? Do we go 80? Can we get five increase of overall rating? His Alex Albon is 84. So... Let's go for 80. I think we're going to go for 80. Uh, we can only do one season. So yeah, there we go. We're going to set the target at 80. We're going to sign the contract. Ah, we're signed. We are on the Formula One grid for 2024. <gasps> <laughs> that sounds awesome to say. Time to go crush that target. I'll see you soon. Right. We are a Williams driver. Official. Uh, official. And is, I think, is this our house? This house is massive. Oh, there we are. In our suit, in our house, just chilling out. Lovely stuff. Nice big sofas. Always judge a house by the size of the sofas and the amount of chairs, if you're an Illusio fan. Quickly, before we gear up for the oh. first race this season, a couple of things. Throughout your career, you'll get oh, a Oh, yeah, okay. So this is all We also have same. a wonderful team of Ooh, specialists that will be dedicating some of their time to help us this season. When you have a moment, we should go and get introduced. They'd oh yeah, so we'll get all of this. I think is going to be the same. Um, not too fussed about that. Let's go and look at the specialists then. Uh, let's your go and specialists, look at specialists are a team of experts that will be working with us part time to maximize your research and development within the team. They will offer you goals to complete each race weekend. Completing these goals will increase your relationship level with a specialist. When that level increases, you'll get perks that improve their area of R and D. Ooh. You can see each specialist title and current level here, as well as a message stating whether they have some goals available. Selecting a specialist will take you to a details screen where you can view their perks and goals. When you're ready, select an available specialist to see what they are offering you. Wow, okay, so they've introduced specialists which unlock more things for R&D. That's pretty cool. Each specialist will have perks that match their area of expertise. As you improve your relationship with a specialist, you'll gain access to the corresponding perk. You can also select which of the available goals you would like for the upcoming race weekend. You can change your choice at any time from here or at the track before entering the first session of the weekend. After entering the first session, your selected goal will be locked in. Okay, well let's just you can see your selected go goals, with complete the race weekend. You can view this during the weekend. After the race, you'll get a rundown of which goals you passed or failed and any progress made towards each specialist's level. If you fail a goal, you'll lose progress. So pick goals you're confident in completing. In short, don't get greedy. Okay, so there is a there is a downside then if you don't if you don't do it, yeah, I think we're, we're going to go for complete the race weekend. This icon represents your primary specialist. They will offer double XP for successfully completing goals to help you unlock their perks faster. You can choose any available specialist to be your primary and change this right up until you enter the first session of a race weekend. Okay, that's good. We've only got one specialist at the moment. So returning in two race weekends, leaving in two race weekends. Returning after next race weekend. Okay, so they, they, they're here and at different times. That's pretty cool. Wow. This is awesome. This is... I'm excited. I'm very excited. So we both now get resource points. We've got our career mailbox. Yeah, that's not a problem. So we've got all rivalries. Welcome to your contracts hub. Here, you'll be able to view your current contract and all the information relating to it. To start, you can see all the base information for your current contract. Your target rating, your current rating, and more. In this main area, you'll find a graph that tracks your rating each race. It will also display your... Okay, I think what I've done is because I didn't go into the actual contract your career, bit, you will this is what I wanted to see. ...against your teammate in a few different ways. Teammate battles are ongoing rivalries with rewards given every race weekend based on performance. Close points tallies can trigger a championship narrative rivalry. This compares your own points tally with your rivals, with the goal of outscoring them by a significant margin to win. Rewards are given upon completion. If your ratings are close to another driver, it can trigger driver ratings rivalry. The goal is to achieve a big gap over your rival. Rewards are given upon completion. Each cool. rivalry has an intensity level. At key moments throughout the season, this may increase for one or more rivalries. 
A higher intensity level means you'll need to do more to win, but you'll earn more rewards. Nice, a great touch into the game of this as well. Really good, really excited about that. These are your active accolades. Uh, I've seen the accolades been described before, so you get more, you just unlock these the more you do things um, and it increases your, your stats. And then this is the contract performance, so it will show how you are performing. Here you can review your recognition information. You will see a comparison between you and your teammate, as well as any bonus you have applied. Below that, you can see a list of your current perks that come with your recognition level, so you can unlock more and really push the development of the car. Okay, so the more recognition you get, you can decide the development like direction of the car, Review basically. Your current contract target and set something lower if you're struggling. Okay. The team won't That's take good. this lightly, though, and you will struggle to improve your recognition this season. But it's better than potentially getting fired. This option will only be available when you're below your target rating. Okay. So while you're below it, you can actually negotiate to have it, to have it done better. And this is what tracks it over the race weekend. Okay. Cool. I'm very excited to dive in. This graph this. will show you how your driver ratings are evolving throughout your career in F1. Upwards, I hope. Your current stats are visible on the right. Each has been color-coded to match a line on the graph. Progress will update after each race weekend, and you can view both the present season as well as past ones. Finally, at the bottom of the screen, you can see a description of each rating and what you need to do in order to improve each of them. Okay, a fair play to them. They've, they've put work into this. You from the left-hand list, and they will then appear with their ratings next to you on the right. Ratings listed in red are lower, while higher and equal ratings are shown in white. Okay, so I think actually, were we better than Logan Sargent? I don't think we were. Is he still in it, Logan Sargent? 70, yes, we were better than him. But, so we are the worst rated driver on the grid, which I quite like. I think that's quite a good, quite a good thing to do. So likelihood is then we're going to have a points or a rating rivalry with Kevin Magnussen which I'm not against, that's fine hopefully they give us Lance Stroll because I'd love to have a rivalry with Lance Stroll at some point in this career mode, but yeah I like it, right I know R&D, that I'm, that I'm going to just guess that hasn't fine. changed uh, since last season's game but can we, oh well we've got 330 points, is that anything we can do? Um, we are, wow we're mid Will, I thought Williams would be near the bottom, but they're not. Haas are the slowest. That's all going to get shifted, I think, with a patch because Kick Sauber should probably be. So Alpine should be near the bottom. Kick Sauber should be near the bottom as well. So, uh, yeah, we've got progress here. So you can see what Alex Albon is doing as well. This graph um, charts the performance progress. And yeah, this is still the same old graph that's there. So yeah, we're like mid, a mid team, mid pack team, which is pretty good. Uh, upgrades can be purchased. Yeah, yeah, upgrades can okay. be purchased. Yeah, 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 we know For that. We know that. We know all of this. But, uh, okay, so we've got 330, which means we haven't got enough points to actually do anything yet. 400, everything's 400 at the moment. Um, I don't know if we can see what, what Alex is upgrading. Yeah, not sure. But we need, what, 70 more points. So... Let's progress on a little bit because we've got a bit of time until we actually get to. Oh, there we've got some. We've got some points in there. Is that enough points? 421. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's go into the R and D. Uh, do we want? I sort of think weight weight reduction could be pretty good. I mean, our chassis is pretty to potential performance, competition performance, current performance. Okay, so our chassis is pretty rubbish. Our powertrain's half decent. What can we do in the chassis then? Floor stiffening stay. Oh, Alex Albon's doing that. We'll get it in 17 days. That's not... Well done, Alex. Well done, Alex. Picking the thing I would have done. Um, well, I guess we go for something in... Ari, he's doing that as well. Oh, no, it's available. He's not doing that. Oh, no, yeah. Where it says ALB, I'm pretty sure that means he's doing it. So... We'll go for a beam wing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know all of this. Uh, if we rush it, we'll get it before Saudi Arabia. 55% chance of failure. I think... Let's rush it. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we're doing... Rahul Bar is doing that. 
Ah, no, Alex Albon wasn't doing that, but both of us could have done it, I think is what it was saying. But that says... Yeah, okay, I think that's what it is. So we, we've gone for a, a rear wing first. Alex Albon is going for the floor stiffening stay positioning, uh, which is fine. We do need some chassis stuff. And then, yeah, we haven't got enough points anymore to do anything else. Okay, all right. Well, let's get in to the grid reveal where hopefully they put us in the game. Like we're there in the reveal with Alex Albon. That would be absolutely epic. I might have to cut the music out here because I've got a feeling this might be copyrighted. It will be the F1 official anthem, but it is the F1 official anthem. So if, if you can't hear the music, it's because I've edited it out. But uh, there's Pierre Gasly. There is everyone. Yuki Tsunoda, Valtteri Bottas. There's everyone looking there. George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, Charles Leclerc. The Red Bull drivers. Okay, are we gonna are we gonna get a close up of us? I'm not sure if we are. You know, there's oh we are. There we are. There's Ra Rahul Bar. Feed the sheep and he will bar. Come on, this is awesome. This is gonna be really interesting every year when you see the changes that happen as well. Rahul Bar right in the middle of the picture. You love to see it standing next to Valtteri Bottas. That is cool. This revamp has been cool. Now all that's left to do is for us to deliver, I think. Uh, so season objectives. Uh, the car has decent pace, but it's to be somewhere around the middle of the field. Over the course of the season, I want us to be the best of the rest, okay? Uh, we've got our teammate rivalry. Let's get going from James Voles. And uh, just a quick one about the team of specialists. Yeah, that's not a problem. We've had all that discussed. Uh, so we're actually going to get a few more resources coming in. Uh, and then it's going to be the Bahrainian Grand Prix, which is where we're going to leave this very short episode. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get this going. I do like Bahrain, so we're going to see how that goes. Be back in Bahrain in F1. What, we finished third in F2 at Bahrain, so hopefully we can uh, improve that. That would be absolutely awesome. But thank you so much for watching. This is a little short episode just to introduce who we're racing with and what is new in the game. Next episode, we'll be in Bahrain doing the race weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.